you made this place cool when you first got here with the hops and everything. You're now the most senior camp. You can feel like the guy about it now? That's I feel like it uh but everybody keeps telling me I am the godfather now. So uh I mean I'm taking it, you know. But uh I'm 24, so it doesn't really feel like I'm the longest, but it's cool being the longest here. So I got some I got some stuff going on. <laughs> you mentioned being way back and getting strong. When you had that setback with your jaw, were you ever the same throughout the rest of the season or were you constantly playing, playing catch up? Yeah, I was playing catch up the entire uh, rest of the season. Um, being down 15 pounds, going to the second round of playoffs isn't the best way to go about it. So uh, just had to just go with it, had to just run with it, and uh, try, to, try to be my best and try to put my best foot forward just to help the team go to the next round. And uh, yeah, that's all I was doing, just really playing catch up, but uh, really wasn't myself and wasn't my best version out there. Obviously, that was something like that. <laughs> Obviously, it's unfortunate when you go through something like that. But is there some? Is there any positive you took out of it? Any lesson there? You think you have to Yeah, um, going through another bump in the road, uh, some adversity. Um, always just make you suffer, make your mind a little bit sharper. So. Um, yeah, just going through adversity and uh, just try to bounce back from that. And um, that's the only thing I learned from that, bro, to be honest with you. Darius, what uh, was the uh, frustration level for you last year like, in total? Um, it was very high because um, I really wasn't myself. Uh, like I said, just being down 15 pounds and trying to play in the playoffs against however tall these guys are, is, it's kind of tough. And um it gets more physical too, so a lot of fouls not being called, a lot more pushing, a lot more holding, and uh, it was pretty tough. So, um, some frustration for sure. But this summer, I just had a lot of time to bounce back and try to get my body back right, and uh, just try to focus on myself. There is so much. Uh, obviously, Kenny comes in, and he's he's raved about just the combination of you and, and Donovan together out there on the floor, and the potential that you guys can have. Just what excites you the most? about what he brings to the table as a coach and the system that he's going to run that, that you think you can open try. Yeah, um, everybody's really excited for Kenny. Um, everybody knows he's a really offensive coach. Um, he always tells that he's a guards coach as well, so he's really excited for me and Donovan to get together. We can really pick his brain. We can learn from him as well. So uh, everybody's super excited, um, really offensive-minded. But uh, he's all, he also said that we're going to have the defense unlocked as well. So... Uh, Hopefully, being top five in that as we are in the last couple of years. And um, yeah, I mean, everybody's pretty excited, but to be honest with you, everybody's super excited. Uh, a lot of smiles in the in the facility every day, a lot of jokes. So uh, it's a really good vibe right now. A lot of people think or they, there's this idea out there that like you and Donovan can't play together. But what is what is your like, response to that? We've been here for three years now, we're going on three years. Uh, you made a jump every year, made some improvements. So, uh, I think it's working. Um, if we keep improving every year, so uh, a typical fan might not see that, but people that really understand basketball and know what's going on, they really see it. And uh, a lot of people don't see what we have outside of the court as well. Uh, we have a real relationship outside of the court. Um, we go to dinners, we go out together, drink wine together, whatever it is. Uh, so that's my brother. Uh, we know what the social media and everybody's going to say about it, but we know when we get between these lines and what our relationship is like, we're, we're locked in for sure. Uh, it's really cool to see. Uh, I mean, he loves the city. He wants to be here. He wants to play with us. So uh, we're super excited to have him back. Uh, he's happy to be here, most importantly, for himself. And uh, it's super cool to see like a star like that just really committed to this team. So um, he's a winner. That's what we all here to do. We're here to win and uh, try to get better every day. So super excited he's here. Uh, I know he's excited when he gets up here. Hopefully he talks about it a little bit more. But um, everybody around the city, around the organization is super excited that he's here. Harris, he mentioned that there was a weight off of him because he's made his decision and he knows where home is going to be. In any way, do you guys as players feel that weight lifted as well because you know that Donovan is going to be 
here and you don't have to answer those questions and think about what could be in the future? Um, I mean, I'm not really answering questions for Donovan, so uh, I don't know what it's like. But um, yeah, I guess the wait is off. Uh, the speculations and other stuff is going on around the league. So uh, it's cool that he's definitely settled down here. Um, we're all super happy he's here and that everybody else around the city organization is too. So we're happy. <laughs> Uh, it'll be, it'll be out there soon, but, uh, I definitely gained a couple pounds, got a little bit more muscle on me. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for the season. Uh, try to put some of the seeds. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, it's all about heart and the will to do it. So I think that I'm there to do it. Um, definitely got a little bit stronger, a little bit more weight on me. So guys trying to attack me and hope I can just stand in front and uh, kind of body up. But even on the offensive end, just trying to go through a couple people chest, uh, use some of the muscle that I put on this summer. You know, that make it harder? No. Uh, I'm just here to be aggressive. Go be me. I'm not really worried about the injuries that's happened in the past. Uh, kind of over Just a couple of weird injuries that just happened, and uh, hopefully it doesn't happen again. Who has the best fashion sense on the team, and who needs some help? Uh, best fashion sense? I'm going to go with me and Vert. Who needs some help? I'm not going to speak on that. <laughs> that's my boy, though. <laughs> A bunch of other teams around the NBA, Darius, made moves, and and you guys decided that you were going to run back. You got 13 or 14 from, from last year. What goes through your mind when, when you see that process unfold? Everybody's bought in. Um, everybody wants to be here. Um, the people up top really believe in this group, and, um, and everybody in the locker room believes in everybody as well. So um, when you put on that jersey, we know that we're going to have one another's back. Um then we're going to go out there and try to win a game. Uh, that's all we're about. We're going to compete at the highest level and try to do our best. So the tip one about buy-in. So much is made of new coach, new ideas. What can Kenny do for you guys? How much can you guys help him since he your role? Um, just being a listening to ear and then just try to tell him some of the stuff that kind of worked for us in the past and just try to do it in his his way. Uh, just try to revamp it in the way he wants to do it. Um, Especially like on the defense side of the ball. I mean, we've been top five for the last two, three years now, probably three or four years. So, um, just try to tell him like some things where we're pretty good at and some things that we probably need help with so he can put his little twist on the things that he wants to do. And, um, yeah, but we don't like Kenny Rock, to be honest with you. Uh, Kenny's a really good coach and we're just going to try to learn the best from him. Darius, I got a scenario for you here. Five seconds left. Hey, right, so you got the ball in your hands. Walk me through your ideal way to get a bucket. Uh, I don't want to do that though. That's you giving away my secret. <laughs> that's that's a four quarter time. Um, uh, what the game look like? Down by one. It's been tight defensively all game. Down by one. It's early in the season. Playoffs. Playoffs, you got to get it too. It's going to be a pull up too in the playoffs. Nobody's going to. For your floater. Right? Okay, what are you talking about? <laughs> you, don't, you don't even know what the question was. What's the question, man? See? Five seconds left. ISO. Down by one. What's the ideal button? Take the floater or pull up too. He said in the playoffs too, so you're not getting a you're not getting a wide over three. <laughs> Have y'all seen Tristan get a rebound and dunk, and he just pumps his chest and screams? Yeah, I've seen that a couple times. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, no more twenty five games, CT. Kenny, Kenny talked about um your pairing with Ricky a couple of years ago about like a template of how to play this year. What about that pairing and translate several to the top and making sure so he told me it was going to be a, a lot more downstreams for me, uh, a lot more off the ball actions for me. Um, so I could stop with catch and shoots. Uh, yeah, that was that was pretty much it. A lot of off ball actions for me. Uh, get a couple of points. How do you think the offense overall is going to be? A lot more spacing, um, a lot more room for everyone to attack, uh, a lot more drop. Uh, really angles. So when we're getting the paint, it's a lot more. Catch and shoot opportunities for some uh, of great shooters. And, uh, you can a lot more movement around in the offense, a lot more ball, a lot more player movement, just more player cutting. So, uh, you know, we got a lot of guys. I'm pretty excited for it. Darius, when you go through a situation last year where you know, stuff happened out of your control, and then you mentioned like social media, but that's the fans. Are there any guys that you look at and you're like, man, this is Yeah, I mean, I, I really don't really look at it, to be honest with you. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people in the team here or something, um, just, you know, just so come across it from you know, the text messages. Uh, yeah, that's, the media stuff doesn't really get to it. Trying to fine-tune uh, that continuity. What really matters is what the organization yeah. wants and what they hear and what they tell us. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, just really worry about the organization. Not really worry about the outside outside uh, outside uh, outside 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 uh, Consistent. Don't really worry about the outsiders, like I yeah. said. Uh, uh, be more just go be me. Go play my game. Be out there. Year, go be happy. I know you said this is our biggest key that we need to focus on. Outside uh, noise. Keep the team and do everything we did. Maybe you want it now. How did you handle that? Had a talk with Kobe, and he was pretty upset about it. Yeah. The yeah. GM is pretty upset. Yeah. You know, once we hired it's not a good look for an outsider. Yeah. So, um, uh, you know, I knew that he wanted me around. I knew he wanted me to be a part of this organization. So, uh, just trying to brush it off. So just, and, uh, just trying to lock it on myself. It's what the organization wanted to get him open works and just um, just provide space and for our team. About the situation is, is key. Let him know you want to get on. Yeah, I told him that I wanted to be here. And, uh, he knows that as well. So uh, it wasn't really a long conversation about it. But, uh, you definitely seen the outside. And, yeah, I mean, Kobe shut it down. I mean, it's hard to answer those questions. Anyone else to just uh, be begging it? You know, we have the, we have the guys just shut it down and not shut off on social media. Or the guys that can shoot. Just tell myself, uh, just just keep going. They want to get out. It's always fun. Where did that idea come from? Just one last question. Where did that idea come from that you want to see? How we're going to do that? I really don't know, but it came out and it was definitely false. So. A few people talked to them about how they think I've been improved uh, throughout the summer. Have you seen that in West Virginia? Yeah, uh, Evan's definitely got yeah, a lot more physical. Want to play as well. uh, uh, he's got a lot more stronger. Not, we wanted to go farther, but you can't. He's just getting older. Um, he's his fourth year in the league now. And he's going on forward. And, uh, um, I think we could take just the experience, game. just the games also that he played, that the big time games he played. Uh, go last year. I think the Boston through. series helped him so, a lot last year. Just like I said, in the field of playoffs with a really cool fight. Guys in the locker room. Guys learning other. Yeah, you could definitely see a, a bigger player from him. Um, from those last year's baseball.